have a posse forming. <laughs> Y'all think we have something? We actually do. which we will cut for hay and depending on how they do some of which we will harvest soybeans which we don't normally do so our millet is not coming up very good that we planted elsewhere so that's why he decided to do this it's just kind of a weird year I'm trying to figure out what to do we got to make some hay though so Bean hay is good. We've done that before. A little bit. Not this much. This is a really... This is a really big field. Or combination of fields. Basically, you can follow the tree line. And that's it. And just on the other side of those trees is the Dan River. This corn? This corn is looking good. And we have been having some very hot and humid days. But today... For some glorious reason, the humidity has dropped tremendously and still going to be in the 80s, but it feels great. So we'll take it for sure. Oops. Hey y'all. All right, I'm back in my kitchen. I'm actually not cooking anything this time, but I just shared a little kitchen hack on my Instagram stories, Insta story, whatever you want to call it. And I happen to think maybe I would share it with my YouTube friends. Um, I was trying to decide what to call y'all. I was going to say fan, but that's not right. I don't have fans. Um, celebrities have fans. <laughs> I have friends. <laughs> anyway, um, so I was blessed with a big old box, which I, I can't show it to you, not cut up now because I've already cut it up, but a beautiful sausage, North Carolina sausage from my dad. He brought it to me this morning when I picked my son up. My son has been visiting with his grandparents this week. And we have this um, supplier, they're called Nahunta, and they have, they process pork. And it's really good. And there's an outlet in Raleigh where my dad lives. So he brings it to me and it is a gift, a beautiful gift. So it came, it comes in like a big long tube. <sighs> the words fail me, but you know, link, but it's like one big long link flinging sausage everywhere. And so then I take it and I cut it up in like little cookable pieces. Cookable is a new word as well. And so after I do that, I put it in Ziplocs and I freeze it. And I will actually just cook sausage like this straight from the freezer into my skillet in the morning and it cooks fine. Like it doesn't have to be thawed. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. What I wanna show y'all is how I seal these things. So I <clears throat> am getting choked up. I'm not gonna cry this time like I did in my last video. Um, I have one of those big vacuum sealer vacuum packer sealer things we used to have a garden people ask me this do you have a garden no we don't have a garden anymore we have a basketball goal and some grass where there used to be a garden but several years ago i used to do all that we used to grow the vegetables and i i went into this whole process and learned how to can and i did all that stuff and honestly it just got to be a lot a lot of work and just not something that I love doing anymore. 
lazy call me lazy you can call me whatever you want to call me <laughs> but I just we just don't have a garden we have friends that have gardens and they are generous to give us things here and there I've got a sink full of cucumbers that I didn't grow but I am gladly going to eat anyway so I'm getting I'm getting a little long-winded here 257 this should only take about 20 seconds um so what I do I don't like to pull out that big vacuum sealer and seal this stuff up anymore. So I found that this little trick works very well. And now, three minutes later, three minutes, 14, 15, 16, I'm gonna show you. Okay, so here's our bags. Bags, bags, bags of sausage. So what I do is I put them, I put them in these little Ziploc bags and I seal them almost to the edge okay and then I take a straw I am sure a lot of y'all out there do the same thing but I felt kind of like a little genius when I did it the first time because nobody told me I just I figured it out and so then you just take this and you just suck the air out okay that didn't work right and sometimes you get the sausage in your mouth and that's kind of gross it's gonna be easier for me to stand up and do this so I put the straw in there see it I got it all the way to the edge and then and you suck it out and it's it's flat in the air see no air and that's my trick and I'm sorry it took me so long to share it with you but that's that does anybody else do this you could do it for anything that you put in a little baggie and you need to freeze without a bunch of air in it you're welcome <laughs> I mean, thank you for sticking in there with me and watching this. If you did, you get a prize. That's me patting you on the back. It's so hot today, we decided to head to the creek for a picnic, Hello. snorkeling, Hello. <laughs> puppy play, pulling off. It just is better at the creek. Life is better at the creek, right? Yep. <laughs> oh, it really is, y'all. It really is. And we have good sized minnows. Good job. You just that was like the first first dip Literally over here in this. And we also have a crawl dad. He wants out. He will. He'll be let go. He's about to have a little friend. Oh. We really need some rain in that right there. I'm afraid it's just taunting us. We watched it do that yesterday, and it never did anything. We have a posse. <laughs> Y'all think we have something? We actually do. We have minerals for you. <laughs> Some pretty little trots and loafs. I mean, if they were horses. Just talking about how bad how bumpy it is out here in the pastures can't tell until you're driving on it from all the mud all the cow prints cow tracks whatever you want to call them so bad and there's just no way to fix it oh my gosh <laughs> okay do not know where <laughs> Gotta do is say, hang on, boy. Holy smokes! It ain't gonna get no better. <laughs> Hold on for dear life. Oh my soul. Happy day. We have shooting and tasseling, and we need rain. And we just watched it go around again. It's been in the 90s every day for a week. And no measure.
measurable rain. So, no rain, excuse me. No rain. <laughs> uh. Well, it's time to grind some more corn. But we waited until it wasn't 90 degrees. It's actually lovely. The air's a little thinner. It's a little breeze. It's not too bad, is it, Bonnie? We got all sorts of help. Four-legged help. It's not actually help, but moral support. Is that what you are, Bonnie? Moral support? Gail. Hope she's going to be feeling well. Hopefully she's fixed. You just never know. <laughs> she's trying to give him grass. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, how cute is this? She's got some corn and a bell. <laughs> Bonnie? Oh my word. Come here, Clara. Clara, that'll do here. Go ahead. What? She just told me she wants them to like her more. down on my job. Well, I'd say you made some friends tonight, right? They still want to eat my hand. Well, they're not just going to eat out of your hand <laughs> one time. Almost if you keep feeding them every day, they probably will come up here and give them supper every night. <laughs> I'm here with my husband and my friend from the interwebs, Miss Sheila Gibson, who found her way to the farm from Minnesota. Yes. Minnesota. How do you say Minnesota. it? Minnesota. 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 And she brought me something that I have never cooked before or eaten before. Spam. Huh? I got, oh, spam. And now I'm going to attempt to fry it. Okay. All right. Hold on. Okay. Here we go, y'all. I'm really not sure I'm doing this right. Then when you got them exotic crossbreeds. Here we go, y'all. Let's see. My first spam sandwich. My husband is very loud. How's it? I had to make it for my husband. I'm always scared to try it. It's not too bad. It ain't nothing but ground up hog. Okay, ground I'm from Minnesota. I have to love cornmeal. All right. Survey says spam is not bad. Who knew? Thank you for enlightening my world, Miss Sheila. You're welcome. <laughs> Cheers. Okay. Now that my spam has settled, <laughs> I mean, I think it has, I'm going to get rid of this backhoe tire. Just roll it off, he said. We'll see how that goes. And then, I'm coming to mow Papa's yard because. Wow, it almost needs bush hogging. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a little loud. Got some, got some wean tabs in there. Talking. 
Let's see. I also have some rocking chairs that my dad gave me that I'm gonna put on Papa's porch. I thought about painting them, but I don't think I'm going to. I kind of like the old look. <laughs> All right, buddy. Down you go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, it just does not take much to abuse me. The thing bounced. Big time. That's all we're doing. That's all we're doing with that.